I'm back again here in cold Germany, freezing my ass off, but it's time to check out Assassin's Creed. So this book has been lying around for a while in, in my place. Um, I didn't touch it other than I just opened this one. Um, you will soon see why, because uh, it is so nicely wrapped that I felt like I have to do this on camera. So another book where I'm hoping that that they got the credits right. <laughs> um, if you remember my last video and the one before, um, we figured out that all kinds of artists were uh, named in the book, but only at the end and not where they actually should be named, where the art is. Um, let's see about that in this one. I'm not holding my breath. I'm just, I'm just super curious anyway. Leap into history. Yeah, sure. Um, disclaimer, I haven't played Assassin's Creed Mirage yet. I still didn't get to it. Still busy with Baldur's Gate. Oh, okay. So we're doing this. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, be gone. Uh, this is a nice design. I can say that. Looks nice. It's better fabricated than the last one. Uh, this is also by Dark Horse? I actually don't know. Let's look into this. Oh, okay. That I can get behind. This I like. This is a uh, no bullshit design. Also, all black inside. That's good. I love for the detail. And here we have, yes, we have prints. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is, this looks better than last time. Okay. Still no artist mentioned <laughs> on the prints, but uh, this looks nice. I like that. Good choice, whoever made it. All right. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's let's see what they did this time. Oh yeah, by the way, we have golden edges again. The making of Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's a bit wavy here. Okay, a, bit, a lot of black printed. Probably made everything wavy. Yes, it's Dark Horse Books again. Yeah. We dedicate this book to you. Yeah, at least, um, at least it's not AI art, art, art. Super cool. Okay, I figured this one would add probably a lot of stuff to read and uh, no names of the artists no names of the artists again thank you dark horse yeah it is an actual issue Okay. 
Assassin's Creed 1 is still kind of my favorite. It was the one that felt the most like I were actually playing an assassin. My friend Evan planted this thing in my head. You know, when someone says something and you can't just ignore it forever, can't be unseen, unheard and stuff like that. Um, it was the same with that. He told me, so you don't play an assassin, but you play a mass murderer. There's a lot of killing and it's not really assassin-ish. Like some of them are, but in the latest games, you really just were just slaughtering people. Um, obviously those that they make you believe deserved it, but at the same time, an assassin is actually someone like the agent and hitman, right? Like you, um, you kill people unnoticed. That's like the main thing of an assassin. That's how I feel about it, at least. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Oh, it's a fat one. And uh, yeah, uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, here in this game, you just hack and slay a lot of soldiers who had it come in and you're not really an assassin. I would enjoy a game that is very much focused on, on stealth. Um, like Splinter Cell, you know, like where, you, where it's important to stay in the dark. They call themselves the hidden ones, but they're not really hidden. Actually, their clothing is quite not hidden. Um, just my opinion. I know I'm I'm going in a direction where uh, I'm probably gonna have to deal with co uh, comments from my beloved toxic gaming community, who will t uh, call me all kinds of names. But frankly, um, I've been playing these games ever since they came out, and I earned my right to have an opinion about it. And I would like an Assassin's Creed game where you actually play an assassin. That would be nice. The British one was actually quite fun. But with this one, it got really interesting again for me. Because, I don't know, Origins was just super interesting to see. Like how they made the world. The first time I was <laughs> hearing people like chatting in, in, in Greek on the streets and actually being able to understand most of it. That was super interesting. Yeah, and apparently now with Mirage they figured out to let people actually play the game in the native language. Which is nice. Alright, this is this doesn't look so well here. A bit too much white. Um yeah, Odyssey was a huge game. Enjoyable, huge. I don't think I even explored everything. It just got too much at some point. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really believe it, that the stuff that I saw there. It didn't really feel like that. Same with Valhalla. It was just too much fantasy, I don't know. It was still, still interesting. The statues, the Greek statues in, in Valhalla were actually um, kind of a downer. But uh, yeah, Dawn of Ragnarok. I still haven't played this one and I really want to before I'm moving, um, before I'm moving on to this one. Assassin's Creed Mirage. Mirage. Good one. Yeah, we are moving towards the end. Um, I'm still pissed that the names are not where they're supposed to be. That's not nice, that's not fair. And I feel cheated. I want the artist's names where they belong. And I will start a campaign on Twitter now. I won't, I certainly won't. There we have the names. No, we don't. It's all kinds of brand directors and creative directors. Hold on, are the artists not mentioned at all here? 
That is odd. Yeah. Okay. Assassin's Creed, the making of 15th anniversary edition. Um, third book in a row from Dark Horse with no names where they should be. If some of you can figure out a way for me to turn off that flashy filter, because I'm recording this with an iPhone, uh, this flashy filter that makes me look like a, like a baloney or something and super smooth skin, um, I'm way too lazy to Google for that. So if you figure out a way to do that, uh, to help me with that, please let me know. I would love that. Uh, the video is over here. Uh, we saw everything. Uh, we saw enough. I'm disgruntled and I feel betrayed and uh, it's still a very nice book. Sadly, it's a really nice book. I wish I had more to complain about, but I don't. The design is top notch. This is actually a really beautiful book. I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's, it's nice. It has everything I like. Uh, worth checking out. There's another ver edition. I didn't know that. There's uh, an even more deluxe version of that. Uh, with some kind of uh, like a coin and everything uh, was shared on my discord server from one of my uh, um, of my friends there um, I don't have it. I didn't know it existed. I might have gotten this one, but still this one is a really beautiful book uh, Worth looking into worth getting. I hope you enjoyed this little video until next time. Bye. Bye <laughs>